Well, at least we don't have to worry about a place to sleep. This bed is certainly large enough for the three of us. Welcome back to my dark corner of this sick world. I don't think I can stand it. This week's film was a fairy story for director George Barry, who dreamed it, made it, then forgot about it, and 25 years later discovered it had become a cult hit. There's nothing to be afraid of. The film is called Deathbed, the bed that eats. So let's get right down to the most obvious question. I'm sorry, what? Oh, Mudama, oh, I didn't even know why. But don't worry, the existence of a bed that eats is fully explained. For her seduction, he decided to create a bed unique for the occasion. And nothing about it struck her as weird. That's odd. On which subject, don't let the fact that the narration comes from a man who lives behind a picture for some reason... You resurrected me behind the painting. ...put you off. Was it because I was diseased? <laughs> Nor the fact that the bed apparently regrets not having made more of its life. After years of hunger, it knows it should have gone to the city. To be honest, for a bed, having a sense of unfulfilled potential is a pretty major achievement in itself. For all your powers, limited only by your stupidity, you can't move. Again, it's a bed. And if all this strikes you as a little weird, you ain't seen nothing yet. Time to eat. I've made your favourite. Oh, I'm not hungry. As well as being the bed that eats, this is also the bed that yawns. Mm. Mm. The bed that chuckles. <laughs> and the bed that pervs on women. <laughs> Deathbed is not so much a film as a series of questions to which there are no answers. What is this, some kind of joke? If you happen on an abandoned basement in the middle of nowhere and find a bed in it, is this really what you do? What the hell is this about? You. Where exactly in this thin bed are these people being digested? Why is this guy not in a massive amount of pain? There's no flesh left. It's hardly any blood. And why does having sex on the bed make it catch fire? I mean, we've all had good days, but really? There is so much to hate about this film. Would it never end? The stilted characters, the complete lack of narrative continuity, the random lesbian references. But the biggest question remains. People have been disappearing from this bed for centuries. How has nobody noticed? I hope there's not a maniac around. I'm not saying you should immediately leap to the conclusion, ah, demon bed. At some point, you've got to think there's at least a connection! If you've got a movie you'd like us to review, leave a comment below. And don't forget to subscribe.